I got my patent. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I wanted to share that uh, I've just received my first utility patent. Uh, for those of you that don't know what this is for, this is for my Atlas mount, which is this part right here. This is a, uh, a screen mount that allows the central touch screen in a Tesla Model 3 or Tesla Model Y to swivel left and right and pitch adjust forward and back. It also slightly lowers the mount down a little bit. And uh, this, uh, this is something that I've been working on for some time now. And uh, this started a couple of years back when I came out with my first mount that merely dropped the screen and pitched it forward to make it look more sleek the way the press release photos looked of the early Model 3s. And then uh, a few people asked, well, what about having it pitched toward the driver? So I marketed a mount that was fixed in position, but it lowered the screen, pitched it forward a little bit, and angled it more toward the driver, although it didn't move around. Uh, and then after that, a number of people had, uh, had asked, well, can you make it swivel? And I had already been working on that. So I made a, a mount kit that swivels left and right to allow the screen to angle toward the driver or the passenger can pitch it in their direction and can uh, use the screen then. Well, that screen mount, I released that swiveling mount right when COVID hit. And uh, at that time, a number of people suggested that I should probably patent it. Didn't have the money for the, for the attorney fees at the time. And with COVID just kicking in, nobody really knew what was gonna happen uh, just throughout the world as a whole. So I decided not to patent it. Well, they sold in droves. And now there are, I think, three Chinese companies that are copying my left-right swiveling mount. And, uh, but I, by that point, within just a couple months of marketing the, the swiveling mount, I had come up with the idea uh, to basically do this, to allow the screen to pitch adjust or swivel left and right and pitch adjust forward and back. And the swiveling is accomplished with this pivot. The pitch adjustment is here. The screen mounts, the two bosses for the screen mount to this shaft. Uh, and that shaft uh, pitch adjusts with tension through there are plastic bearings here and then it clamps around those bearings to the shaft. If you understand engines, it's very similar to the main bearing in a uh, crankshaft on an engine. Uh, there are a lot of specifics that made this difficult to produce in the way it is and also to differentiate the amount of swivel that's needed or the amount of friction for the left-right swivel versus friction for the pitch adjustment. You want the pitch adjustment to be much stiffer and the left-right swiveling to be smoother and uh, less stiff. And the reason for that is I found once you get the pitch adjusted where you want it, you usually don't mess with that, but the passenger is going to swivel it over to them and you're going to swivel it back. So the left-right swivel is accomplished differently. There is a special polymer washer there with a thrust bearing under a Belleville spring under a lock nut. And then the pitch adjustment is this aluminum shaft, which is a specific grade of aluminum that will not gall or leave aluminum bits in the plastic. And then there are nylon plastic bearings that are, are uh, tension adjusted with this clamp. And we can achieve far more uh, drag or friction on the pitch adjustment pivot than on the swivel pivot. So that was critical. Getting it all to fit in a tight space was critical. Well, I decided to apply for a patent for this mount mm -hmm. primarily because I wanted to protect it, being that my other mount has been copied by so many companies. So, uh, and I know there's limitations to patent protection in that, but uh, I applied for a patent in the middle of July and it only took two and a half months for my patent to be accepted. Typically when you apply for a patent, you apply for a broad patent and that gets rejected. So you reapply for a narrow, you narrow your focus and you reapply and that gets rejected and you narrow your focus and that gets, that gets declined or rejected and you narrow your focus. and eventually it goes through. And that typically the patent process, according to my attorney, his experience says that it takes about three years and uh, a few thousand dollars of more legal fees after the initial application. But mine went through as a broad patent. Uh, 
but my patent is a broad patent that is uh, left, right, forward, back, two-axis pitch adjustment of a primary central screen in a car, which sounds very focused, but it's not. It Oftentimes, you have to narrow it down a uh, bracket made out of aluminum using friction pivots that mounts to the car through metal fixtures and for a Tesla. Usually, it, uh, most patents end up being uh, focused, having to be focused very narrow. Mine went through as a broad patent, and which makes the patent more valuable. So, uh, so I wanted to share that with you guys. I am so excited about it. We are still running behind on mounts, uh, mount shipment. Today I'm shipping mounts uh, orders from three months ago. I'm so sorry. We're actually working hard to catch up. Uh, but, uh, and we are catching up. But I just wanted to let you guys know that there is still a backlog. There will be a link in the description below if you want to order one. I also wanted to let you guys know an update on the, the rear cover. People keep asking about that. So uh, here is an early prototype that we 3D printed to, uh, this is just the top portion, and then the, the lower portion that mounts to the screen uh, is this part here, and that essentially, essentially covers over, excuse me here, getting the orientation correct here, would cover over, and that is sort of what you would see in the car. Uh, this is a rough prototype, uh, but this is where we're at with this, uh, where we were at about a month ago. Uh, and, oh, and if you're, if you don't know what this is, that when I sell this mount, there's a soft fabric covering that goes around it uh, to allow it to pitch adjust and still cover the, the metal parts. So people have asked about a plastic cover. That was the first prototype. And then this is the latest, this is also 3D printed. Uh, but this is the latest iteration, which covers the top, and uh, so that fits that fits the top there. And uh, this again is the lower section. We, there is a newer version of the lower section that's much more petite than this, but we I don't have one of those to show you. But this is where we're at there. We've also experimented with various colors. So, uh, so we are looking into potentially anodizing these in black. So any metal that you might see between the top and bottom covers are still black. I don't know, but we are, we are working on that very hard. These covers have actually been harder to develop than the mount, mainly because the mount was never developed with a plastic cover in mind. So now we're having to make sure that there's enough clearances around it in that. So that's where we're at there. Um, I think that's it for me for today. I just wanted to give you guys an update, let you know that I got my patent. We are filling orders and all is right with the world. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. And as always, stay charged. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye now.